I thought there was great energy. You know, I think we worked in, uh, you know, we worked in pads, which we hadn't been in. I think that they responded well to that. And, you know, I thought we worked uh, well yesterday in, in the conditions, you know, that were there. So those are a lot of reasons for, for distractions, I guess, late in the year to have a, you know, fall off in practice. And then, you know, today being able to, to get out there and move around was good. Was there any thought to going inside today and keeping warm or? No, 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 not much at all. About as much as there was yesterday. What do you do, Mike? It's still 48 hours to kick off. But what do you do between now and then? And can you almost paralyze yourself by just worrying about every little thing? Or, or can, can you not do that in the playoffs? No, I mean, I don't think you can ever do that. I don't think we want to try to paralyze ourselves. But I think as coaches, it's just trying to, um, you know, be, be ready, be prepared, and, um, you know, work through different situations and, and never – Try to predict on how the game is going to play. I mean, we we've won games a bunch of different ways. Um, you know, we've been up I and mean, we've been behind, and um, you know, so we'll just have to to be ready and make sure that um, you know we have everything covered. It's only a couple of hours, but do you do anything Saturday to kind of fill up that time? No, you know, that's kind of right in the middle um, where the three thirty. You know, we haven't normally done something. Um, I, I know that guys will come over here. You know, we do, you know, the proximity in which the stadium is and, you know, as nice as the, the facility is to use the tubs. I know th there's a lot of guys that do that and then we'll have treatment available. Um, you know, probably just do a, a, a quick, you know, special teams review in the morning, give give some breakfast, you know, a quick squad meeting. But, but at that point, it's just a fine line on, you know, letting these guys you know, kind of get away, rest, and, and get their minds right, ready to play. So you release them from a hotel at a given time, and then. Yeah, I mean, they, they'll, there's guys that you know, I mean those that that'll stay at the hotel. I mean, that's just kind of everybody's choice. You know, there'll be guys that will stay there because they like the peace and quiet of it. Um, I'm sure, there'll be guys that go home. I'm sure there'll be guys that that come over here and and, and relax here. Or, you know, or getting treatment. Hendrickson's been, Hendrickson's been, has been cleared to play. Is he a guy that they keep that they rush from a set spot, or they move him around and try to create matchups? Uh, he's been over there predominantly um, on our left side. Um, that that's where he's, you know, been. You know, they'll move Hubbard around a little bit, put him inside, and um, you know he'll rush from the edge. And you know, very very good player, very good motor, excellent motor. You know, he's a relentless rusher, and you know we'll have to be very good against him. He's, you know, been disruptive. What do you tell the guys to kind of balance being able, like, you want to go out there and be excited, but you want to take it for just, it, it is just a game, even though it's, it's kind of like do or die. Like, how do you get the guys to balance? Well, I would never say it's just a game. You know what I mean? This is, you know, our families are invested in what we do. Right. Um, you know, this is all we know. Uh, this is, you know, our players are, are deeply invested at this point. So, you know, this is this is more than just a game. This is an opportunity to, you know, we've put ourselves in a position. You now you have to you have to win to to move on. So, but you know, we haven't really. I mean, I think we're excited. I think we're ready to play. You know, I think we've we've been off, and uh, these guys were prepared to to play long into uh, into 2022. Did you see everything you need to see from Derek. Did you guys write those questions? <laughs> <laughs> that was very weird. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, with Derek, Derek's progressing well. You know, we'll see, make a determination on him tomorrow. And, um, you know, obviously I think his workload probably increased throughout the week. Has Quentin Spain, or how well has Quentin Spain, I guess, fit in with that line and what they like to do up front there? You know, Q's, um, you know, we saw him last year, you know, against some, and, you know, he's doing a nice job. He's, he's big and physical. Um, you know, you see him getting to the second level. Um, so, you know, it'll be a challenge for us, you know, as far as, you know, being able to, to try to get around him and, and when they throw. And then obviously, you know, uh, in, the, in, in a zone scheme that they have, he does a nice job. Okay. How, what did you say that how, I? How do you feel about him in that role as you know as the quote unquote third down back? And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean I think the same way I feel about everybody in a role. I mean we all have a role and whatever that ends up being, a lot of confidence in Don Trell and 
you know, whether we, um, you know, he's playing on first and second down, third down in the kicking game. He's got an active role in the kicking game. And, uh, you know, he's done a nice job since we've, we've added him to our football team. Rabbit, good at third day? I'm uh, not going to um, rule anybody out. So I'll, I'll nip that in the bud there for, for John, wherever, wherever he is. But no, every, there will be nobody that will be listed as out.